Now at six, parents forced to jungle as some students get ready to wrap up the school year. Students who attend early start school start summer break tomorrow, but where will they go while their parents are at work is the question. Katie Crowther live at Golden Meyer School with a look at options for parents and kids. Yeah, Charles and Shannon, a lot of parents are scrambling to figure out what to do with their kids. Most summer camps don't start for another month, but MPS is trying to get their attention. The early start calendar change is meant to help more students get on track and give others a head start or advantage on AP and standardized testing. So we want to give the students the maximum amount of school time. Mainly through a June and July summer school program. But out of approximately 25,000 students at MPS Early Start Schools, only about 3,800 of them are signed up for summer school. Is that a concern at all, that difference between, so we moved to Early Start and here's how many are actually taking summer school? Well, it's early yet. Typically we see people wait till the last minute. These three middle schoolers will be back for summer school after doing it for the first time last year. Who yeah. wants to go to school in the summer? Like, nobody. <laughs> I, I didn't really like it at first. But now they do see the benefit. Now, when I go to high school, I'll have extra credit. When I get all my credits earlier, I can take college classes which will then go to my college, which means I won't have to spend as much money. Summer school is a shorter day. Field trips are offered and students get free breakfast and lunch. Now still, summer school enrollment is not where it should be. You can still enroll your kids for a long time yet. Uh, and parents who want alternatives, there aren't many. Boys and Girls Clubs, YMCA, other organizations don't offer any summer camps or programming until mid-June. Reporting live downtown, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. All right, Katie, thank you.